Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you can see from the title, one, I'll be addressing some questions that I've gotten on my launch of my digital planner, as well as the introduction of my content creator planner, which is a planner that I will be using all of 2023. Now, let me start this video off by saying thank you guys so much for your support. Now, so far, my store has been open for three days. So it was three days ago in real time that I uploaded that video where I talk about my launch. And at that time, I had expectations that my sales might be 15. I might make 15 sales off of my product and I had very minimal expectations because I know that digital planning is not for everyone and I'm totally fine with that. Crochet hair isn't for everybody, silk presses aren't for everybody, and digital planning is not for everyone. So I'm totally fine with that. Some people need that physical paper and pen feel and I get it, but I'm happy to say that I have had 80 sales so far. I think the last time I checked, I checked last night. So 80 sales in 72 hours is more than I could have ever dreamed of. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys so much for the support. It really means so much to me. Second thing I have to say is, I'm saying this at the top of this video, that you can use the code Leah Levon for $2 off your purchase. I saw one comment last night on my video that said, I just bought your planner and I saw it as soon as it popped up. And then I saw the edited version when I went into the YouTube studio app and they were like, oh, I paused the video as soon as you said you were releasing a product, then I bought your product, then I watch the rest of the video and then I heard about the code Lee Levon for $2 off. I'm telling you right at the top of this video, just for anybody, Lee Levon, it's a perpetual code. It's not by December 31st or March the 3rd. There's no date of the end of the code Lee Levon working for $2 off. It is $2 off of your purchase. I think I said in my last video too that it should put your price point around $6.44 somewhere. But then I started looking at the confirmation. So anytime anybody purchases, I get like a little thing to my email. The first line just shows the amount and I've seen so many amounts. I've seen $6, $6.44, $6.41, $6.52, $6.50 something. Like there's so many different varying amounts or if you guys have bought both because some people have actually bought both. Um, it's been around $14 if you buy both and use the code. So $14, $14.01, $14 or so. I see all of these amounts and I just realized that sales tax is an actual thing. So the price is going to be $2 off. But if you live in a state like those people who are getting it for $6, you live in a no sales tax state. And honey, I'm trying to be like you. Or you live in a low sales tax place. Some people got higher sales tax. So $2 off and then of course sales tax will or will not hit depending on where you live. I said in my video, I don't know why I asked for address. Like it's not sending you a physical product. I don't know why it's asking for address when you do this on Etsy. Um, that is the reason because I think it's trying to calculate how much sales tax to charge you or not charge you. Another commonly asked question on my last video was, is this for Android or is this for PC? Can I utilize this planner on either device? And unfortunately, no. One for the Android side of things, there's not enough information on YouTube or Google for me to figure out how I would make this adaptable to Android. There's not a lot of content on creating a digital planner in Android either. There's so much for iOS and Apple devices. That's how I was able to create mine. I had to do a lot of research to figure it out. Even when I do like preliminary research on figuring out how to do this for Android, there's not a lot of content out there. So one, I don't see a lot of information. Two, I don't own any device to be able to hone in on tests, do this research and all of that. But I'm saying that to say, think about your streams in 2023 and maybe you can break into that market. If you're somebody who likes the idea of digital planning and you see that there's a hole in the space in digital planning for Androids and you're an avid Android or Samsung user, maybe that's a space you can kind of monopolize on. There's not a lot for that space. For Androids or Microsoft, what is it, Surfaces? I think those are like PC type devices. So maybe that's your space. Now, if you wanna be a differentiator, think about that Android market. But again, I'm not that familiar with Android devices or 
capabilities of them, it would be such a learning curve. And again, there's not enough information for me to figure it out. Some questions on why Etsy. Some people have been like, oh, I just downloaded Etsy just for this and to be able to purchase. And I love that. But I take for granted so often that I love Etsy so much that so many people don't even utilize Etsy. And I'm always like, I'm such an Etsy lover. Like today, as I'm filming this, it's Christmas Eve. After I turn this off, I'm gonna go see my family, of course. Um, but I have some gifts that have been given as you're watching this, but haven't been wrapped yet. Um, I got my sisters some slippers with their names on them for Christmas, got it from Etsy. I got Winnie. Winnie, her little bib. It's like a Christmas bib that she's gonna wear. That got that from Etsy. I got a lot of my house plants from Etsy earlier last year. Last year, I got my sister's keychains that they utilize from Etsy. I even have one of myself on my own keys. I bought them cups from Etsy last year. I got myself a cup with a little North Carolina. Got that from Etsy. Two Christmases ago, I got my grandparents and my parents those established signs. So it's their last names and then the year they were established. My grandparents have been married for 52, three years at this point. So I got it. I think when I got it, it was their 50th anniversary. I got my mother last year a little photo. It was like everybody turned their backs. It was a kind of a drawing. Everybody's backs were turned. Even Winnie made a little appearance in the photo. And she has that displayed in her home. What else? Winnie's corner in my home is all decked out with little personalized things that I got from Etsy. My stockings, if you watch my Decorate With Me holiday, the Winnie and Talia stockings that are in my house are from Etsy. What else? I mean, there's probably so many things. My digital planner from last year is from Etsy. The rings I wear, the rings um, I wear on this finger right here. I got these from Etsy. I got these from Majori, but I got these two right here. I wear them in every single video that I have. Every single day of my life, I wear these rings. They're just kind of really thin, very thin, stackable 14 karat gold bands. Got them from Etsy. So. I've been an avid user of Etsy for years upon years. I think of Etsy almost as my Amazon. So I just assume everybody is put to game, but it's the holidays. If you guys are not thinking about Etsy for your gifts, so many people think of like regular, you know, Bath and Body Works. But if you want to be creative, I think Etsy is the creative space for not just the holidays. Again, I spend on Etsy at least once a month I'm on there all the time. But the eventual goal is to establish myself on Etsy and then of course get kind of a site going. Etsy's a great way to kind of launch and get your kind of brand out there, see if you have a customer base and then go somewhere else and then create your own site. Somebody brought up a really good point. When anybody asks me where I got anything, everything that I get from Etsy, anybody asks me about it, I always say from Etsy. I never say the shop because the shop doesn't even hit my mind. I have to go back and do a lot of research to figure out where did I get it from? Oh, I got it from Sal's Classic Finds or Customize This or all the photos in my room. I, have, I forget about that all the time. People ask me where did I get the photos that line my wall of uh, Diane Carroll and all of that. Got it from Etsy, but I just say from Etsy. And it doesn't create a good brand name if you just don't know. You just say from Etsy, from Etsy, from Etsy. And it's like, but it could be like the shop's name and you're not saying the shop's name. So eventually I want Winnie and Willow to have its own brand. But Etsy is a great way to get started because it has been very easy to kind of see everything, track everything, get notifications and get messages. So if you're not already shopping on Etsy for other things, please you're missing out on a huge market of things. How to download. I've only gotten one question from one of you guys out there in this time that I've uploaded. Again, it's been 72 hours, but of the 80 purchases, only one question. And it was when I click the link or when I click download files, a sheet comes up that says how to download. That's what's going to come up. If you've ever bought a digital planner from a Etsy shop or anywhere, it's most of the time going to be a page on how to download before you actually download. You just click that hyperlink. There's a page that comes up and there's like a hyperlink. It might not look like it's a hyperlink, but it's underlined. It's a hyperlink. Click that and that's the digital planner. So anytime you download any digital planner, it'll typically be a pager that kind of walks you to the next steps of downloading. And in that pager, there's a video that tells you how to download once you get to that step. Some people have asked, do I use this in lieu of a work 
calendar or do I put my work on my planner? I do put my work on my planner. So if you've ever noticed, I never show you guys my weekdays. I always show you Saturdays. Even in my last video, I only clicked on actual Saturdays because if I click on a Monday through Friday, I do actually put work stuff on there. And, you know, I keep my nine to five separate. And I also put like names if I'm interviewing somebody, if I need to make an offer to somebody, if I need to run drug tests or background check on somebody, I keep that in my planner. So that's why I don't show my Monday through Friday days. However, yeah, Yes, I use it for work, but I do use Outlook for reminders. So our coordinator, who I would be lost without our recruiting coordinator, she puts all my screens on there. So it's a good reminder for me that because I am at my desk 40 hours a week and I need to know and I need those reminders, but I also like to keep it in my digital planner. Some people have asked, does it connect to like your Gmail or your Outlook calendars? No, it is literally just like your physical planner doesn't just like your physical if you are a paper planner person you have a day designer happy planner all of that that doesn't in any way connect to your outlook this doesn't either it's literally just a planner that is itself just digital it's just digital so it's not gonna send you reminders or that kind of thing i've gotten questions about phone i do have it on my phone as well so whatever you do on your ipad translates to your phone if you have the good loads app and you're logged in everything goes over. I don't use it on my phone as much though, unless I'm on the go and somebody asks me, what are you doing the weekend of blah, 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 blah. And I need to look quickly. I'll do it and I'll write it in, but I always, always, most of the time, I'd say 95% of the time I'm in my iPad. I'm not looking at my phone. So with all that said, let's get into my planner. I have it beside me again. This stand has changed my life. I said in my last video that I have the thinner point on my pencil. So you can see the point that comes with your Apple pencil. You've seen it before. I keep it in here. This feels just like a lead pencil. Like this is just, the tip is so fine on this. If you see, I don't even know if you can get in to how fine this is. It feels like writing with a pencil and I love writing with a pencil in my physical planner. So this feels just like it. Also, I do have the paper like filter on my iPad. I've always had the paper like filter on my iPad. I've never used it without it. I would suggest if you do have the Apple pencil, do write on your planner with the paper like filter because if not, it would feel like this. It would feel like writing on your phone and that's not it, it just doesn't feel right. This feels like writing on paper, which I like. So it's, I highly, highly encourage you if you have an iPad that you utilize an Apple Pencil with, have a paper-like filter. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, then I don't think it will feel, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does feel smoother. It feels like running your hand across paper if you're using your paper-like filter. So because I use GoodNotes so much, I use the app GoodNotes a lot for making this planner, testing this planner. I needed to have a separate one for my actual planner that I'm utilizing. So I can also make a tutorial on how I make my icons, but I made an icon specifically for when I need to just go into my own planner. Not the planners I'm playing around with, not the ones I'm testing, none of that. I need to actually look at my planner because it's been so confusing this year when I open good notes and I'm looking at something. I'm like, this ain't even, I need to use my actual planner, not this playing around planner. So this is good notes right here on this screen and then you're also saying my planner is right beside it so i click on my actual planner and this is it um i have to plan around with some of the dates so let me go to the front page so you guys can see this is the cover for my actual planner but i'm making two covers so you can either get it in this cover or I have the other cover that looks just like the cover that I have for my luxury planner, the one that I call my luxury planner, the black cover. You can get the content creator planner in either way. When you buy it, it comes with both covers. So when you make one purchase, you either click the download for this cover or you click the download for the other cover but it's just one singular purchase and you get either cover all you have to do this planner is completely hyperlinked just like every other planner which takes a lot of time but it's completely hyperlinked so meaning you just click and tap on the front page and it takes you to the index you can get to the index on any page so say you go to the content page you want to get to the index that corner will always take you to the index every page that you click on the corner top left will always always get you back to the index 
that's kind of if you want like a main that's your home if you need to kind of move around you want to go back home that's your home that's your sweet spot some people might be like how do you click and annotate when you first get into good notes it can be confusing because there's two modes there's the edit mode and kind of the more review mode where you're not able to draw or anything i'm in the mode right now where i'm not able to draw or do anything it's really for movement purposes so when i want to go to any page this is what you have to be in you have to be in this mode because i cannot write in this mode i can only kind of click on the days click on all of that that's what this mode is now if you want to go to edit mode you go to the top right corner so right now it looks like this this is what it's going to look like when you are in non-edit mode you want to go to edit mode you just click that and you'll see that pencil with kind of a, it looks like an x when you're in this mode you can edit in it but you can't click around so you're kind of on that page if you want to click around you go to the looks like a circle and then a pencil going through mode so that's just a good note to remember if you want to click around you got to look like a little pencil if you want to be able to edit it's got to look like that going back to the index page what's different about this than my other planner the content tab if you looked at my original two planners it said goals habits finances and fitness i switched the most important tab to content over fitness fitness has not been removed from this planner it's at the bottom if you go to additional there is fitness and you can go to and it looks just like the fitness does in my other planner you have every single day outlined but this is just again how it would be because my main focus not to say fitness shouldn't be my main focus but content creating is very big to me as well so let's just do a quick walkthrough on the index page one of the great features that i created in this planner that's not in my other two planners because i created them right around the same time that i created my etsy shop that was that on the index page only on this page not on every single page but on the index page if you click winnie and willow planners in the bottom left corner this is in the bottom left corner of every planner that i have but on this particular planner the very first page on the index page if you click it you can go to an external page that takes you to my Etsy shop. So if you want to see, you have 86 sales now. Yay. Um, so if you want to see my planner and it'll take you to my page. So if you ever want to go to my page again, it's on the left corner of my index page. And I'll make this continuous throughout every single planner I make going forward so that if you ever want to like what she got going on now that is there for you now my first page after the index is year at a glance in your year overview that is of course if you want to look at the year in a glance but the great thing about the year in a glance is that you can click on any page so if you ask yourself what's May 5th got going on you can click May 5th and it'll take you to the May 5th page so this page is completely hyperlinked so I want to go my April 8th it'll take you right to April 8th um, if you want to go to the 5th you got Thursday October 5th and it'll take you to any day if you ever just want to see it at a glance and you want to go to a particular day that year at a glance page is hyperlinked just like the tabs are hyperlinked as well I'm sure more people will use the monthly pages to get to the daily pages but that's there if you want to if you want to utilize it and you can put your biggest goals for the year these are your big things you don't go too deep you got other pages to go deeper in detail this is just kind of a, a glance an overview of the year your vision board I'm not a good vision boarder my friends who are watching this right now remember that vision board party girl that I fell asleep at yeah um, I'm not I'm not great at a vision board but I have a vision there's things I want to do um, and this is a good way to do it digitally I go to the edit page and I go to my edit tab what do I want to do this year I want to go to big old jolly old London so I grab a photo of London maybe I want to put a little piece of tape on it too so I can like make it look like I stuck it on there with some tape um, get a tape sticker I want to go to London I want to go to Toronto get me a little Toronto skyline got that little the needle right there put a little tape on it so I I'm making my vision board y'all this is my vision board party what do I want to do in terms of career though the second page lets you outline what do you want to do career do you want a new job do you want a new certification do you want to start another business financial do you want increase in your life in this year in what ways lifestyle honey this is where you can put your trips your travels all of that health 
Do I need to improve my health in some way? Whether that means weight loss, whether that means just getting my heart rate better. If I need to lay off those sweets, if I need to lay off those sodas, like I need to. Self-care, what do I wanna do for the year to take care of myself in a way that I was not the year prior? Ambition, my drive, my goals, not talking about career, not talking about anything else. What do you have an internal drive to be? I'm talking about you truly internally. What do you want to do with your life? And that could be running a marathon. That could be like just something you never would have dreamed possible. What's your ambition, your relationship, um, whether that's with family, friends, significant others, children, What do you want to do in 2023 to change the outlook on those relationships and then spirituality? You want to get closer with the Lord in this year. Now, after that, we go into the monthly. So this is where you can put anything you have going on that month, whether it is like, let's see, what am I? I got a groom and appointment, uh, you know, the 14th or something. Put that on there. What else? Um, I want to go get a manicure. And again, these are my stickers that I just, you can have them in the row like this or if you don't have them most recently used, it's showing me what I most recently used. But if I need to see all of the ones that I use a lot, I'll put it in here. Do I need to study? I don't know what I'm studying for this go around. I use this a lot when I was studying for PHR. Use that, but also if you need to write it in here, put it in here, what am I doing the 10th? Um, you know, meeting with Sasha or something. And again, if you want to go to a daily, instead of flipping through like you would a hand planner, you just literally go to the day and then I can just go to the day. So, and if you want to go back to the month from the day, click right here and it'll take you back to the month. So click the month in every corner. There's a month. Click it. It'll take you back to the month view. So clicking on the actual day. So say I want to look at the 28th. That'll take you to the 28th. Say you want to see January again, click January, took you back to January. Now the things that are the same are the monthly goals. My goal is start, duration, end date, as well as action steps. Again, goal setting is important to me. And so I made a whole page about that as well as habit tracking. I don't have to go into details. You guys know how I feel about habit tracking. You know, I'm gonna have a financial section. The budget, if you wanna track your income source. I'm wishing increase upon everybody's life. I don't think I put enough income source boxes on here because I I think there's more. And again, I put income source because it doesn't just have to be your nine to five salary. If you get any money from like alimony, child support, anything else where you're getting some form of money into you, you can put it in this box. So if you get, um, let's say I got my alimony, check this one monster chain um etsy you get um my youtube check um affiliate marketing um what else my full-time job um check of course and of course i get paid two times a month or if it's a three check month we get so there's not enough boxes again i'm i'm hoping this ain't enough boxes for most people so next year i might need to put even more boxes for income sources and i hope this is enough fixed expenses boxes because honey we we trying to out rid expenses in this year as well so we have the fixed expenses your financial goal of the month whether that is to pay off something to buy something you can track that as well as if you won't need to track your savings i'm hoping this ain't enough boxes for savings too because you've got to you trying to save all over the place and your date source where did that savings that money from savings come from what are you saving for in that description box and then the amount your debts whatever that might be credit card what did you start with that month what did you end with and what's the interest rate on that um and then your no spend days if you want to you know calculate use your highlighter to color in okay i had a no spend day the second but then i spent on the fourth and then the fifth and then the sixth i had a no spend day so that means you literally spent nothing you literally cooked at home you didn't get any coffee you didn't have to go get gas in your car you did not spend a dollar no dollar came out of your account that day i want more no spend i'm i'm hoping for manifesting more no spend days and more save days in your life um but that is how you track that each month and how you get back to that too if you're trying to figure out well how do i get to that page at the top finances again every month so if you want to look at the month in a whole so go backing and toggling between like january and a say a february you just go back same thing goes with goals. If you want to toggle between certain months, be like, what was I doing that day? You just go and again, 
toggle between every single month habits and then we get to the last one let's go to content let's go to january so this is the new edition page this is how you're going to keep track of your content strategy each month so what platform how many followers did you start out again that platform could be youtube instagram TikTok, twitter uh twitch wherever you're trying to grow just write it in at the tops again this is why i don't like my writing sucks you guys um youtube how many did i start the month with i don't remember but i ended the month with even more i'm gonna have like i'm gonna say now i'm gonna have a hundred 130,150. That's what I'm going to end the that's what I'm going to end the year with. 130,150. Yes. So that is how I would do it. How much did I gain throughout the month? How many posts did I make? I know YouTube I did terrible this month. I probably have four videos up in a 31-day month when most people are doing vlogmas and uploading every single day. I did not. Um so I needed to work on this planner. And so I did not get a lot of posts out. How was my engagement? Probably poor. How was my reach? Also probably poor, but what was my best performing post? Oh, I didn't do a lot this month, but it's probably that vlog from Punakana. That's probably my best performing post on YouTube. You're calculating it in real time and you're writing when you're actually sitting down about thinking about it. Best posting day of all the days. What was your best posting day? Keep track of that. So month over month, you can be like, I need to post more on Tuesdays. If Tuesdays is your day, then that's your posting day. For me, it probably will never be Saturday and Sunday. But whatever your posting day is, and that could be in your stories too. When do you see more engagement? I do see more engagement on my stories on Saturday nights. I don't know why. Are we in my age group just sitting at home looking at stories? Most like comment, meaning either which comment got the most likes or what comment do you like the most? Which comment did you receive that you really loved? For me, it would be so hard to choose each month. But the next one, the most critical comment. Constructive feedback for improvement. Meaning, what comment did you think was oh so critical? I get so many critical comments. And my first thought is to always be like, what they talking about? Mm-hmm. They don't know what they talking about. But then I need to sit and think about it. I can still learn so much, even though I've been creating content for six years. So many things that you guys say that I feel like, dang, coming from my neck like this. However, I sit back, I think about it, and I'm like, okay, I could change my music. And since then, you guys have been enjoying the music in my vlogs. Somebody commented and was like, you keep playing this one song. And I was like, you gonna hear this one song, girl. And then I sat there and thought about it, and I was like, let's see what happens if I switch it up. And it worked. So sometimes we get caught up in that we think every comment is negative that's being critical and it really can be your your space for improvement i think that's how my channel has grown my channel has grown not just from the comments of people who love my content but it's really been those people who've been critical that have helped me and i want content creators to be more cognizant of not every comment that you don't agree with is coming for you sometimes it is going to help you and you just need to sit with that so that is something i just want people to think about and i add it to this planner each month think about a comment that you got if somebody says your speakers are too low don't get defensive like well and nobody else complained about not being able to hear me you got something going on maybe it is or the quality of your lighting is bad they're not coming for you maybe it's just to help you like maybe they are coming for you i don't know but think about it like sit on it and think about it and then is there a topic you love that month a topic that you talked about that you actually loved and then after that we go into the daily pages finally the daily pages and so we're looking at the daily the daily looks similar to my other planners i have a 7 a.m start with a 10 30 end i have my priorities the to-do list of course woke up at in bed at again so you can track things like that my energy level, I explained in my last video, I just feel like it's more conducive for me to track my energy versus my mood. Moving to tomorrow, meal plan, water intake, all of this is the same, money tracker, notes. The thing that is different is I took out the self-care, the gratitude, and highlight of the day box. I kept, well, I kept the highlight of the day box, the post of the day. I like this because in my current planner, what I typically do is I put a picture of, I'll put an example of what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture of what I'm posting that day, but I have to put it over something else because my planner doesn't have a bucket for me to put what I want to. So I have to cover up some element of my tracker. Now I can just put the post of the day in here. So say I posted this reel or yeah, I posted this on reel. This is just a screenshot of it. I take a screenshot of whatever I'm doing and I 
put a sticker on here. I'm going to put this on Instagram. Oop. So this is my post of the day. I put it on Instagram and I can remember, remind myself, okay, post on Instagram that picture of me or that video of me on the beach or say it's not that. Say it's a the video I posted last week. I launched a digital planner. The post of the day could be, whoops, let's go, let's zoom in a bit. Um, that, and then let me put the sticker from YouTube. Remind myself that I'm posting this on YouTube. That is my post of the day. Remember that, remember that. Um, so I put a screenshot of the post that I'm posting each day. Or if I'm not posting that day, which in 2023, I do want to get better at daily posting. So posting something at least five days out of the week, I want to, whether it's a reel, a TikTok, something. That's my goal. Put that in the post of the day box. Where did I post? Um, did I post on, let me do a check mark like this. Did I post on Instagram? Yeah, let's say I posted on, ooh, that check mark did not come out the way I wanted to check. The check mark wasn't checking. Let's say I did Instagram. I did YouTube, I did TikTok, um, I don't, I don't use, utilize, oh, I want to get better at Pinterest. Now that I have a digital product, I want to post on Pinterest more, so I need to learn how to do that better. So did I post on Pinterest or other? Did I post on a podcast? Do I have a podcast? I am writing with the stiff. I don't use the stiff tool if you're trying to write. Um, podcast. And what time did I post? Did I post everything? Usually I post at 6 o'clock, so 6.15 p.m. most days. Because that's, that's, my, that's my good spot. And then in the bottom corner, you'll see uh, the date. It's in very small font, as well as next day. All you have to do to get to the next day is either swipe to get to the next day, or you can click the next day, and that'll take you there. The easier way is probably to swipe than to try to hit the little thing at the bottom. Some new pages that were added one that was added oops I was already in edit mode um, one that was added for you guys so at the bottom of the, uh, the additional again I have fitness still here so if you guys want fitness you can still go to your fitness and you have your fitness pages again top left always takes you to the index debt repayment page if you want to keep track of your debt repayment then the additional page is savings thermometer some one of you guys this came from you guys out there because this was not my last planner but since then you guys have said i like finance i love my planner for finance i wish there was more finance i got you covered i put a savings thermometer on here as well so if you have a savings goal say your goal is to um save five thousand dollars Thing. You got a five, five thousand and six. I think my handwriting looked like a six. Um, five thousand and six dollars. If you want to again fill this in, let's use a red, color it in a lot better than I'm coloring it. I'm just showing you. You save 20 percent, you save blah 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 blah. You can write down what you're saving for whether this is a car down payment, whether this is a home payment, maybe this is for something. What are you saving for and when is the end date? When you want to have the money by? One of you guys also suggested a book tracker. One of you guys said, I like to read and I would like a tracker for books. So um, I added that in here. So you can put a picture of the book. Again, I'm always going to be a big proponent of read atomic habits to get your habits in track. Um, put that in the book tracker. So again, you can pull pictures from, if you just use, again, the moon icon up there, pictures from your photo library. So if you have that photo in your photo library, and if you delete a photo from your photo library, it still stays in here. I can delete atomic habits now that I've used it from my photo library and it will not delete the picture from your planner. So that is that. Next a hairstyle tracker. I thought of this after I filmed my last video. On the same day I filmed my last video I filmed my top hair of 2022 crochet hair and found it was a horse. Hard to remember. Hard thing to remember. So I decided okay I need to actually keep track so keeping the, with that same photo idea I need to put a photo of me in a hair. This is me in this hair. Oop. 
remember the style. I need to remember the brand because this was that human hair. What my rating was and what the dates were worn because this hairstyle tracker might just be for me, but it can also be for you too. If there was a style that you wore that you don't like, you need to remember that for year upon year. Put this in your hairstyle tracker. It's a unique feature, I know, but I like it. And then we have our journaling pages just like I had in my last planner. So that's the content creator planner. It is now live on my channel. You get it the same way you did my last one. Um, go to Etsy.com or of course it's linked down below. Again, do not forget to use the code Leah Lamont for $2 off of your purchase but thank you guys so much again for your support i hope you enjoy the planner again i'm still all ears because i'm still working on my weekly planners if there are any more additional features i've already added the book tracker i decided to add the hair tracker really for my own sanity after filming last week's video and um if there's anything else that comes up that you're like i like this idea and i can feasibly think of a way to incorporate it in my planner i will do so Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be more active in this coming year. I knew I took a little took a little breaky break. Um, but again, focus was all on this planner. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.